Welcome back to Pathologic. It's almost 1 p.m. on day 10. My stats are looking pretty good, with the big exception being my immunity, which is pretty mediocre. Unfortunately, I don't have any uh, immunity boosting things on me at the moment, aside from the Twyrang, which I need to keep for Peter Stamaton to burn himself alive with. <laughs> Gotta keep that on me. Wouldn't want to uh, deprive him of his self-immolation. But other than that, I'm doing pretty dang good. So the, the quest that I'm currently tracking down is the one with the Canes. The Canes Madness. I went to Katarina, and she said that Simon Kane has returned to life, I guess? Or his spirit has returned or something? And she told me to go speak with Reuben. I spoke with Reuben, and Reuben said that, no, Simon is definitely dead. That Reuben himself exhumed his body and burned every last particle of his body that didn't go into the vaccine. And then he told me to go speak with the Canes. So let's do that. I've already spoken with Maria, and Maria told me to come speak with Victor. So let's see what he has to say. The carcass in the lot classifies as incitement, but we won't be provoked. Who could have done something like that? My consciousness hasn't completely returned to me yet. I can hardly imagine how much must have changed here since then. I need to ask you a question. Ask. I shall answer as clearly as I can. Do you know why ghosts always speak in riddles? It used to puzzle me. After all, I've never felt compelled to resort to allegory in order to draw conclusions from my visions. Now I know the answer. Their consciousness is fragmented. Is it true that Simon Kane is alive? But what do you call life? Hmm. Strange. Throughout my career, I've answered that question numerous times. But now I don't know what to tell you. Do you believe in the soul's immortality? I'm going to go with the answer that I think The Bachelor would say. No, I don't believe in it. Do you know of that which we call memory? Hmm, I'm not sure. Memory is the very fine particles of a person that exist between that which is the person and all that isn't. Some have the ability to collect those particles. For as long as people are able to retain the particles inside themselves, the person is not dead. They remain here, but their soul is not imprisoned. It flies off to where it's supposed to be. Well, metaphorically, it just sounds like he's saying as long as, you know, the kind of, uh, the classic thing of as long as you remember the person, they're not actually dead. But Victor's making it a bit more literal. It doesn't seem to mean it metaphorically. It's literally saying that memory is particles. And that some people can retain the particles. The memory particles. Uh, I understand now? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> well, it's my only option. Why then? Did you ask me that question about Simon? Katerina was in a frenzy. She's convinced that Simon is at the Crucible. Ah, so that's why. Tell me, did Katerina only talk about Simon? Only him? And you say she was in a frenzy. Did she not notice the presence of another person at the Crucible? The very thought of whom should make the girl tremble. No, she spoke only of Simon. so you want to know the truth about Simon. So be it. You will. The truth is that Georgie Kane, who so ardently desired eternal life for his brother, has committed himself in entirety to Simon's memory. He is imbued completely with memories of him. That is what Katerina saw, but she is very sloppy with her visions. So 
so... Georgie Kane has... committed his life to just retaining Simon's memories, to just collecting his memory particles? To the point where, what, is he himself dying and becoming Simon? Is there not enough room for... Georgie and Simon in the same body? Because I keep hearing about how the Canes are going to kind of kill themselves or something like that. I think I'm beginning to understand. If Katarina starts spreading rumors of Simon's return, tell them Georgie has gone mad. That he imagines himself to be Simon. And Katarina is sensing those waves. Talk to Georgie. Let him confirm his consent to being presented as a madman. Will he talk to me? Yes. Go to him. Talking to him will open your eyes to the truth. You are a perceptive man, after all. Help us. Such rumors would be very inopportune. And please accept some money. It will be of use in shutting up a few particularly big mouths. Is this an option to get more money out of Victor? I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's be a little bit cheeky. You really have no idea how much has changed. The cost of shutting up mouths is now several times greater. Gave me 7,000. I don't know if that's more than he would have given me before. Alright, let's see what it says now. Something strange is happening here. Everything I see in the Crucible bears a trace of insanity. Victor says I should trust Georgie when he tells me of his own madness. But is it even remotely plausible that a madman would corroborate his own condition? Not at all. What is it, then? Let's go speak with him. I noticed there is an option in my dialogue with Victor to say, who are you? Almost as if Victor's been taken over by someone else, perhaps. It's creeping me out thinking about that option. I wonder what would have happened if I selected it. Most men only die because they know not how to prevent dying. I just want to talk to you, and to ask for your blessing in a certain difficult affair. Yes, you are exactly as I imagined. My boy, when Isidore described you to me, I knew that this is the way I would like my heir to be. Alas, I have never begotten one. I'm not the first Cain to lack a son. And, regrettably, not the last. Uh... I'm definitely not a boy, but, um, let's not go with that option. Why? I think this is the price we pay for leaving too much life in our wake. Life that is lush, blooming, unpredictable, and unrestrained. The soul that could have belonged to our children is dissolved in our man-made legacy. What? So they're saying they're too full of life to be able to spare any of that life to make offspring, I guess? It's a strange thing to say. Judge, there is a rumor in the town that Simon is alive, and his supposed death was a ruse set by the Canes to disguise their involvement in this plague outbreak. The truth about Simon Cain is the kind of truth that may only be explained to those ready to accept it. They want to know what happened to his body? Very well. Simon Cain was afflicted with the sand plague. His body has been torn into droplets and fibers. It's a pity that we now cannot produce his remains before the non-believers. What are they to find comfort in now?
Hmm. <laughs> what are they to find comfort in now? The news that you've gone mad, Judge. Hmm. Do I want to go with that, or should I try to involve Clara? I feel like I should try to involve Clara. Let's do that. I do not know. For some reason, it seems to me that this changeling Clara can be of help here. Here is my final request. Tell the Inquisitor that Georgie Kane has gone insane, and that our family is in preparation for collective suicide. That should do. Perhaps she'll even leave you alone for another day or two. But that's not true, is it? Not entirely true, but true enough to satisfy a vigorous mind like hers. Temporary lives will depart, so that the eternal lives will be reborn. Go now, my boy. You are no mystic after all. Did he once think I was a mystic? Because the bachelor is certainly no mystic. Farewell. I am glad that I did, in the end, have the chance to meet you. I feel like that might be the last time I meet him. Alright, go speak with the Inquisitor. rarely fail me. Have you already been told about the canes? God, these days I'm told about nothing but the canes. Or do you mean something really special? I have extremely valuable information. Where do you imagine Simon Kane currently is? Partly in heaven and partly in the ground, I suppose. Why? You have reason to believe otherwise? Hmm, I can tell her that Simon is alive. So I can tell her the truth. I mean, is it the truth that Simon is alive? At this point, I think, yes, sort of. Not alive in the traditional sense, but in a way. But this is an interesting choice. I can either tell her what I think is the truth, although I suspect she wouldn't believe it. Or I could tell her what the Canes want her to think, which is that they're insane and Simon isn't actually alive. If I want to protect the Canes, this is the option I should go with, because if she thinks they're insane, then she's not going to take it seriously, of course, and not going to try to do anything to stop it. Hmm. Do I want to protect the Canes? Do I have any reason not to protect the Canes? Do I trust the Inquisitor? Do I like the Inquisitor? Eh. Not really. Do I trust the Canes? A little bit. I trust the Canes more than the Inquisitor. I certainly like the Canes more than the Inquisitor. Although the Canes do seem to be more obsessed with protecting their own family than they do with protecting the town. So I'm not sure the Canes have the best interest of the town at heart. I'm going to go with the Canes. You should know that Georgie Kane has gone insane. He believes himself to be Simon. He will possibly die soon. Victor, too. I don't believe that. Out of the question. I don't even want to hear about it. Don't make me disappointed, I beg of you. I have told you what I intended to. Draw your own conclusions. Is that so? Well... That changes everything. I will, of course, draw my own conclusions. In fact, I'm doing so right now. The information is indeed extremely valuable. I will even allow myself to appraise their precise price tag. However, it wouldn't be very nice for two crafty people like us to outwit each other. Wouldn't you agree? 
have my own opinion, and I'll remain entitled to it, with your kind permission. That's it? It's awfully abrupt. Did that finish the quest? It did. I shouldn't have put my trust in Aglaya. Contrary to what I expected, the conversation with her did not set me at ease. In her eyes, I caught a glimpse of the strange flame that was illuminating Victor's gaze as we spoke. Did somebody say they were related? I think I am going insane as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> In no other game can the quest log make me so disturbed. Did someone say they were related? That's right, Aglaya was related to someone. I only vaguely remember that, though. So she's related to the Canes? Hmm. I shouldn't have put my trust in Aglaya. Did I really put my trust in Aglaya? I don't feel like I did. Hmm. I'm not sure what's gonna happen now. I'm disturbed. Why are they playing me up? I feel like she's gonna do the something. The commander and I haven't held counsel, even though it's against the rules. I'm counting on you, doctors. I'm listening to an equal, Bachelor. I'm speaking to an equal, Inquisitor. Alright, that's nothing. <sighs> okay, um... Well, that's all the side quests taken care of. I guess it's back to the main quest. Right, I have the pictogram, the whole dying bull thing, that's dealt with. Got this massive side quest with the canes, that's dealt with. Yeah, back to the main quest. Alright, so Peter wanted five bottles of Twyrine to douse himself with, which I don't really want to give him, but I guess I maybe have to. Um, I have four bottles that I bought from Bad Grief, so I need one more, and I think I can buy it at... Mm, I think I can buy it at Andre Stamaton's pub. I think. I think they sell it there. So, let's go there, and... Um, hmm. I really want antibiotics and stuff and medicine. And the most efficient way to get that is to trade with children. So I think I want to wander around up here. Because this is the only place that's going to have children, really. Up here, maybe down here, and then here. Just any place that's completely uncolored. And I think there'd be more children up here. So I'm going to go to Andre Stampton's pub, and then I think I'm going to look for children to trade with up here. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of this damn infected zone. Actually, just to check something real quick, I thought I've spoken with Aglaya, and she doesn't seem to believe me. I wonder if I can tell the Canes about it? Tell me what you want. No, doesn't seem like it. I feel like I'm actually going to have lots of extra time today. Which is a really nice feeling. But it's worth keeping in mind that I have not finished the main quest for the day, so... Okay. Excuse me. Okay, another one. Oh god. Fucking hell. Like I was saying, it's worth keeping in mind that I haven't finished the main quest for today, so for all I know that could turn into something really huge. Maybe getting the plans... Jesus Christ. Maybe getting the plans from Peter Stamaton is not even close to the end of it. There might be a lot more to it, so let's not take it too easy. Are you coming for me or for him? Okay, you can kill him, that's fine. I mean, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Poor guy. I don't want to waste the ammo, though. It's precious. As you can see, this game has made me value ammo far more than a human life.
got my priorities straight. I think I've, have I been here before? I know there are a couple food shops that had either almost no food or no food. This place is awfully dangerous. Oh, I thought I avoided that. Wasn't far enough to the side, I guess. I'm definitely gonna have to take antibiotics at the end of this day. How am I doing? Infection, yeah. Infection isn't super high, but it's high enough. It's a problem. Sweet sanctuary. Alright, please have Twyrine. Yes, Twyrine, okay. And this does boost immunity, so I could buy some for myself. Hmm. Also, do I want some coffee? I never know when it might come in handy. And my ration bar isn't anywhere near filled up, so it's not like I'm gonna run out of space if I buy it. I'm gonna grab the coffee. Should I just go with five? Yeah, I'll just get enough Twilight Ryan to give to him. I, I don't want any for myself. Oh, I would have let my fists loose if not for these pins. Okay, question is, now should I go to Peter Stamaton or go try to trade with the children? You know what? I'm really close to Peter Stamaton. Let's just do it. I want to see if this main quest spirals out into something huge before I start trying to trade. Peter's not actually going to kill himself in front of me, is he? He's one of my adherents. I have to protect him. I can't let him do that. Should I go through the fire or the elite MLG platforming way? Let's go through the fire. It's fi okay. That was a bad idea. Elite MLG way it is then. Does this do anything if I say this? Alcohol is too flammable, Peter. Let's not take unnecessary risks. No, okay, that doesn't do anything. Here, you see, I brought the Twyrine. Now give me the designs. Here you go. Carefully, or they'll catch fire. Have you seen how it burns, by the way? It's a... Fewer work? What the heck is that? Is that like German or something? Firework? Fewer work? I don't know. The flame of deep green, navy, purple, crimson, black. You're going to see it now. Stop. I have a better idea. Really? Hmm. Brother or Maria? Maria asked me to tell you something. Did she? I don't remember her saying anything.
Hmm. If I... Is there a wrong option? If I pick the wrong one, is he gonna kill himself? Go help your brother. Do you know that he's been arrested? He's killed several people trying to help you. That's fine. I've been suffering for 10 years because of him. Oh god, I think I picked the wrong option. So you don't care? No one does. I do care. Soon I'll prove that to you in practice. Okay, it changed. Uh, is it the polyhedron? Was that there before? Or was it like the design part of the polyhedron? All these lines and stuff that's been added. I can't remember exactly what was on this before. But that's good, I think. I think the more you add to this map, the better. I hope. <laughs> I really hope. <laughs> okay, so... I feel like I picked the wrong option, but he didn't kill himself, so maybe not. How are we looking on the main quest? I have recovered the priceless designs. I should take them to the Inquisitor immediately. Okay, I've got him. Peter Stamaton's blueprints. Blueprints of the polyhedron, lined with tracing paper and containing a detailed description of the structure. Also contains faded written copies of various treatises on optics. Some in foreign languages. Gives the impression of a standalone monument of human thought. It says take them to the Inquisitor, but I really don't want to. Do I have to? I guess I do. So can I do anything more with them? Uh, why here? Why do you look like this? This place is memorable to me. It was after making this ruin that I had an epiphany and realized how to erect my tower heavenwards. And the mask. The mask came into my possession after my unsuccessful appointment as a master of cremations. So here I am, doing my job. Hmm, can tell him to go to Andre or Maria. Well, if Andre's been tormenting him for 10 years, then maybe he should go to Maria. First, I'll go to my place. I don't want to see anyone in this condition. Too much has burned to ashes inside of me. Too much has evaporated into thin air. I want to drown myself in a new flame. There are soldiers in your house. They found out where you live. I'm in the clear. There's nothing for me to be afraid of. That's what you think. What if they confuse you for your brother? No. Go in peace, Daniel. Or give the designs back. Wait, tell me, Peter. What have you constructed? What is it? Have you been inside the tower? I have. It's a multi-dimensional space. It has turned unto itself. It has no surfaces, borders, or bounds. It has no mass. It has no end. Mm, I feel like we're kind of going over things we've already talked about, sort of, but in a different way. I don't like either of these options. I do believe him. And I don't really think he's delirious. Uh, I guess I don't believe you. Go and see for yourself. Just let the children teach you how to get back. But this is a sensation, a groundbreaking discovery that will turn the world upside down. The discovery is not mine. I have nothing to be proud of, really. I've stumbled across it by accident. Moreover, I don't really understand how it works. I've studied my own calculations inside out, and I still don't get it. Something's off, but what? That is the question. You will find the answer one day, Peter. He doesn't even understand how it works. He doesn't even understand how his own construction works. How can an engineer not understand his own construction? It's very unsettling. Now let me see if I can leave here without dying. 
Nope. There we go. Like a person propelled by the force of a dragon, I've jumped through the fire and flames and... Oh, okay, that's way too thick of a reference. So, what to do now? Uh, right, Inquisitor. Oh. I always forget that that's there. Every single time I zoom out and see it and go, holy crap. Right. Uh, Inquisitor or go to trade with the children? I really want to trade with the children. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go trade with the children. It's probably gonna be pretty boring though, I'm just gonna wander around for a bit. So, I'm gonna cut here and I'll be right back. <gasps> oh no, I'm just exploring this district up here in the top right looking for children to trade with, and this is Sticky's house, and oh god. Please tell me that Sticky just got sick on this day, and I can cure him, otherwise he's dead. Please, please, please don't be dead, please don't be dead. This person is sick. Okay, good, 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 he's not dead. Can't they be helped? Um, you're the healer here, it's your area of expertise. Well, yeah, I have, um, I have a cure. I'll try to think of something. Well, I, I have a cure. I have... Panacea. Only three potions exist in the town, probably no more than a dozen. Complete the cures, yeah. So, take it, please. Here we go. Uh, let's be a complete asshole here. Stop barking, beakhead! Here, I have a panacea. Let me in. I'll cure them. Hold on. Before I actually say that, let me just step back a second. What do you mean, beakhead? That's not a beak. Come on, bachelor. Haven't we established that that's a talon, not a beak? Pay attention, bachelor. This is why you almost failed your medical exams. There we go. Cured! Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't realize I could actually go inside. Is it okay to go inside? Are they instantly cured? I guess? Looks okay. Sticky? Hey. I can barely stand. Am I sick? Well, not anymore, but you probably have to recover. Okay, whew, well. Managed to save him. Good. Back to searching for children to trade with. Alright, well, children are very, very scarce. I found literally only one kid up here. Just one kid? And from her I bought a rifle round, and some antibiotics. And then down here, around Chief Notkin's place, I also found one kid, and I bought from him three tablets of immunity boosting stuff, and then one thing of Meridorm. So I've done a little bit of trading, but not nearly as much as I want to. However, I just discovered something really disturbing. I think Chief Notkin is sick or dead. Please don't be dead. Also, I'm out of panacea, so I can't cure him. This person is sick. Okay, at least they're not dead. Um, yeah, can't they be helped? I'll try to think of something, blah, 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 okay. So, should I give them some antibiotics? I'm assuming that would, like, delay how long it takes them to die. So maybe give me a chance to, like, maybe they'll still be alive tomorrow for me to cure them. So I think I should do it. Um, the question is, do I give him mono... Hmm, monomycin or ferromycin? What's the difference? Significantly harmful to health. And the ferro is very harmful to health. Okay, so the, that means the feral, ferro is stronger. So I think I want to give him the ferro. Better chance of living, even though it does actually hurt them more. I'm not going to kill the kid just by giving him the antibiotics, am I? It seems better than nothing. Uh, wait, it was the pharaoh, right? Yeah, pharaoh. It will ease their pain for a little while. You will be able to talk to them today. Come in. Oh. Maybe it doesn't ex extend their life? Maybe it just means you can talk to them temporarily? Hmm. I don't actually need to talk to them. But... Let's see if we can do anything. 
I see double or something. I might have just wasted those antibiotics. But if there's even a chance that it's going to allow him to live longer, then I think it's worth it. Okay, over to the Inquisitor. Let's give the designs to Aglaia. I feel like something very bad is about to happen. There's little time left, and I still need to do so much. Here are the blueprints. Hopefully you'll treat them with utmost care. They will probably become a bibliographical rarity even before the author passes away. That's out of the question. From what I know about the author, he doesn't have much time left. A wild lifestyle, heightened anxiety, alcohol, and hallucinogen addiction, obsessive phobias, remarkably intensive neural stress. And yet, you were implying something else when mentioning his short lifespan. What? No. As you're probably aware, Yesterday, I took that young man under my protection and averted a threat to him. Admittedly, I also implied that people like him are always in danger. Always. Tell me, how long have you known that man? Not that long. Do you have some less than apparent information about him? Has he ever told you of the similarities the two of you bear? That you could end up in a position similar to his, and vice versa? That being an inevitable victim of circumstance is the only fate available to a genius? I ask you to be precise. A lot of things hinge on your answer. Hmm. That being an inevitable victim of circumstance is the only fate available to a genius. He did say that, didn't he? I believe he did. Which makes it all the more strange that there doesn't seem to be an answer that says yes. I guess I'll go with this one then. Perhaps. Even if he didn't say those precise words, he certainly could have. Well... Let us take a look at the blueprints, then. What do you think? Well, I don't know what the hell it is, really, but whatever it is, it's a world-class sensation. Is that what you think? Well, I'll have a look. Go now. And only come back here after a while. Preferably tomorrow. Just as I intended? What? What does that mean? Oh, I guess that I didn't intend to come back before tomorrow? It's kind of a strange thing to say, though. Okay. Is that the end of the main quest? It is. We should give no heed to rumors and hearsay. These manuscripts and these designs are the work of a restless genius. They are erratic, spontaneous, and incoherent. Hopefully Aglaia will be able to unpick their meaning. I'm sure there is a deep-seated rational explanation behind it all. Yeah, just keep believing that, Bachelor. I'm sure there's a rational explanation behind everything that's happened in this town. Like, rational explanation for why Simon's spirit is somewhere and why there's a giant impossible structure that can't possibly exist. Full of thousands of children and facets and dimensions and... Why there's floating clouds of disease that try to chase after me. Why this entire town is, like, inside of a bull. I'm sure there's a rational, rational explanation behind it all. Okay, well, at this point... I don't have anything to do. And there's a lot of time left in the day. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Let me think about it. I can't really think of anything in particular to do. I guess technically the most advantageous thing, like the most strategically sensible thing to do would be to go around and look at bins and try to collect as many little scraps that I can from bins. 
But that's really, really boring. That's something I prefer to do while I'm on the way to doing something, rather than just doing only that. So all I did is I went to the medical store right here, just bought some Novocaine and some immunity boosting tablets, just so I have plenty of stuff to heal me up tonight. And I'm just gonna sleep. Let's just, let's just sleep. Okay, so I want to boost my immunity. Uh, something took down my infection, because it was quite a bit higher. Um, I don't know what. I think it, I think when I got hit by one of those clouds, perhaps, um, the strange ones, the yellow ones that follow you more, not the clouds of infection per se, but like the almost specters that chase you. I think that hit me. And I think it maybe increased my exhaustion but lowered my infection or something. I don't know, it did something odd. Either way, I don't think my infection is high enough that I actually need to treat it. So I think I'm just gonna boost my immunity up to max, take some Novocaine, and then sleep. Oh. Shit. What did I... I think I just accidentally clicked something. Hold on. Oh, I accidentally clicked my tourniquet. Whoops. Eh, who cares? Tourniquets barely do anything. Let's get that up to max. There we go, almost maxed. Let's take the Novocaine. I think the Novocaine's probably the only thing I'm gonna need. I, I think it's fairly strong. But I've got Meridorm if I need it. Two hours... Yeah, that's plenty fine. Two hours took me down about halfway, so three hours should finish it off. There we go. Yeah, minimum exhaustion. Infection is not too bad. Health is maxed. Let's boost my immunity some more, and also I'm kind of hungry. There we go, almost full immunity. Oh, I forgot to mention that I stopped at a food store and, and bought a couple things of food a little while ago. So I've got some vegetables and some smoked meat. Okay. Yeah, stats are looking pretty good. Actually, they're looking really good. Oh yes, and I also boosted my um, outfit protection by a little bit. Um, before it was at absolute zero, and the reason for that is because the only clothes that I'm actually wearing my, is my protective gloves, and those were at 0% durability. So I just found a citizen, one of the women going around that you can talk to to repair your clothes, and I had to repair them. Which is why my immunity is a little bit better here. <laughs> it's still like 1% <laughs> for these and like 10% for this. But it's something. Okay, how are we looking? Almost the end of the day. Well, you know what? Let's sleep for another hour. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. Let's go end the day with the mime performance. End the episode with it. The law of gravity is tragically incompatible with dream catching. Illusions have to be let go of in good time. There is a tricky way to save the specular tower, but there will be casualties. What do you say? The law demands that we remain silent. As if there's nothing to save but this ridiculous tower. There is another tricky way. It allows for saving the town of men, but it also requires a sacrifice to be made. What do you say? The law is impartial. The choice is yours. Is there an alternative way to subvert your ridiculously unfair law? We're just doing our job. Why all the fuss? You've got time. Live some more.
The tower can be saved, but there will be casualties. I feel like I'm going to have to do that today. After all, this is day 11. It all ends tomorrow, right? Maybe I have till tomorrow to decide. Till the end of tomorrow, perhaps. Everything worked out just fine. Clara has made a deal with the commander. The cannons will be kept at bay as long as we agree to turn the town into an altar. Um, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> They're not going to blow up the town as long as we turn the town into an altar. What does that even mean? Oh my god. This is going to be an interesting day. Alright, well, I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to see what's in store for us on day 11.